hello, welcome to How I Draw uh, series in HD edition. This episode 7. So I'm going to draw a Spider-Man uh, commission um, on a blank cover. Uh, it's um, painted, so uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. Um, um, I'm just using here, uh, using a regular HB lid. Um, with a lead holder, or sometimes we call it clutch pencil. Uh, on the first stage, I, I do my rough um, sketch here, just just to see how everything goes. As as you can see, I changed the position of the other leg because it's kind of off. Uh, it doesn't give Spider-Man uh, enough strength uh, to show. Then later, after after um, I'm doing the rough uh, layout. Um, and the construction, of course. Um, I erased it with a kneaded eraser. Uh, very lightly, I erased it, and um, it, uh, it didn't erase much of the pencil. So I have to do another rough. This is another rough, just to clean up everything and um, see see if if the muscles are correct and the foreshortening uh, are, are 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 okay um, and the. Um, uh, Everything's uh, in the right position and right size, like the legs, the, the arms, and the head. So there. Um, doing the f uh, the final rough, uh, I have to erase it again with needed eraser. So I have to uh, draw a little much cleaner this time. So I used it and um, used the sharpener just to sh sharpen up the pencil a bit and. Um, there, uh, on this uh, um, final uh, pencil, um, this is much cleaner. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to use uh, uh, much pencils here because because I'm going to do coloring here and then I, I will do the shadings, uh, everything in final uh, watercolor. But actually, I'm not going to use watercolor. It's a poster color. Um, the black is um, poster color. So it's not really uh, meant for watercoloring, but it should uh, do the trick because it gives the black really black. Uh, some some artists use it for uh, blacking their shades uh, on inking instead of just ink. Anyway, so there I'm I'm, I'm uh, finalizing everything: uh, the web of Spider-Man and and and, and um, the costume. No shadings, no shadings yet. Um, on the, uh, uh, as you can see, th the web I did here is very rough because I'm gonna use a white, uh, opaque paint, uh, another poster color. So here now I'm, I'm coloring, um, I'm starting to do the color. I, I always use uh, black uh, for start. It's like inking because because I'm I'm pretty confident using. Uh, this technique because uh, I'm an inker so I'm very much confident about everything uh, especially on, on shading uh, and um, doing some shadows and uh, highlights and, and everything so here um, I didn't know what's gonna happen when I was doing the, uh, um, the shades so I'm. I was just guessing what's gonna happen, especially those shadows on uh, on on Spider-Man's uh, lower legs. Um, there. So I have to do the shadings and everything. And uh, later, I'm going to use a gray uh, color uh, just to uh, tone everything down. Um, to give the se second tone of the shade, because these these are all um, shadows, so if you must say it, shadows. So now I'm doing the half tones of the gray. Uh, it's like painting in black and white. So it's uh, it's just that painting in black and white. So nothing much. So after this, I'm gonna just um, use. Uh, regular colors just to fill in. It's like coloring black and white drawing. Actually, it's not. There's there's no fancy stuff happening here. It's just um, I just have to understand the shape of uh, of Spider-Man's anatomy and uh, the whole figure and the whole uh, layout. 
So there, I'm I'm doing the muscles and giving it shape, shape and everything. Um, as you can see, I, I smudge everything. This the the paper I'm using here is not really really meant for watercoloring. So it's a blank cover for uh, um, um, Avenging Spider-Man. So it's not meant for watercoloring. So I'm really I was having problem um, blending everything down because it, it, the surface of the paper is like um, covered with oil or something. It's it's not it's not really good for watercoloring. So I have I had a um, very hard time uh, fixing everything up. So it, I think the the paper is really really meant for for just sketching using pencils or, or markers or, or any felt pen or maybe an ink, uh, pen and ink. I think that's the paper is meant for that. So I'm not sure why um, they, they made it that way. Sometimes it, it, it was really hard to... to I, I tried it before. I, try, I tried using um, um, uh, Copic markers on, on the paper and it's really, really bad. Uh, every time I erase my my pen, uh, it gets rid of it. I mean, it, the the black turns gray. It's it's really really hard. So here I'm trying to finish everything up, uh, putting shades, um, finalizing uh, uh, the darkest tone of the blacks. Um, it's not gonna. Fi it's not really uh, my final touch here. Uh, as you can see later. Um, the uh, the blacks will turn into gray again uh, after putting all all the uh, colors. So there, um, after I understand everything here, so uh, giving everything shape. Uh, if if you can see here after after rendering some of the parts, I'm gonna put shade on uh, Spider-Man's leg. As you can see there. Because uh, I want to create a uh, depth, uh, giving the distance of, of the foot uh, to uh, against the uh, Spider-Man's arm, because because um, it creates uh, illusion of, of of distance. So now I'm doing the colors. Uh, I just use the regular blue. Um, there's no mix mixing here. Just regular blue, and just put it there and mix it up with water and um, sometimes uh, the color uh, turns really really light so I have to um, mix again and giving it thicker color and going back again just to make it very very bright sometimes the, color, uh, the, the camera doesn't show much colors because I don't know maybe, maybe the, uh, the gamma is too the setting of the camera is really really bad I'm not really sure what's happening here so anyways, um, now I think we're going to uh, color the red. So the red is really, really bad. I'm not sure what happened here. But anyways, uh, the red is not really, really, it's not really red. I, th I think it's much of um, crimson, I think. Um, I'm not going to use, I didn't want to use uh, real red, um, like it's a uh, very bright red um, um, so I thought of uh, I'll just use this kind of a crimson red or something because so, everything uh, I, I want spider-man to look dark and giving spider-man's eyes a uh, um, glow up um, well, on this video I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, paint a uh, detailed background so maybe um, uh, well I thought of uh, making the background re really really um, plain maybe um, uh, a light blue or maybe a turquoise blue and um, um, right now I'm, I'm coloring the uh, the, the uh, feet of, um, of Spider-Man I didn't color it much so I, I was preparing uh, for the colors of um, the, the background using a flat brush um, nothing fancy I just applied a uh, turquoise blue and um, I, I need to apply it in in lightest way so um, spider-man will pop up 
and um, and I I need to color instead of just white. I need to color it in blue, so uh, I can make um, or apply color in white for his uh, webbing. Uh, there you go. I I, I making it much uh, brighter color. So there. There's nothing much here, so I guess it's uh, I'm. I was just satisfied for uh, what it turned out, so I have to adjust a little more um, for for the uh, colors and everything. So these are just three colors: uh, turquoise, blue, blue, and red. So nothing much. So there, as as I said before, the blacks turned out gray. So I after coloring it in in blue and red, uh, the the the, the, um, the red and blue turn the, the black into uh, dark gray so I have to adjust again and go back uh, for blacking so right now I'm not gonna color the other um, further um, part of the, the, the figure into dark dark uh, black so I just keep it as dark gray so right now I'm doing I'm doing um, uh, spider-man's webbing Nothing. I, I, I just I just want to create a uh, um, uh, shape of a Spider-Man here. So I just followed his uh, figure or the flow. It, these, these are just uh, mesh. This, the web creates the mesh look of the figure. So I have to follow the shape of the, of his uh, figure. So, so there. It's it's almost done. I think uh, it's almost done. And. Um, well, there's not much uh, anything to say actually. There now, I'm going back to gray. I'm using a gray, a, a very light, transparent gray. Uh, nothing opaque here. So I have to use uh, white, uh, a poster color white. So uh, at this point, I, I was thinking, wait, wait a minute. I have to uh, erase the pencils. Uh, on the on the drawing first before I apply the white, because or else I'm gonna wait uh, for a while for it to dry. So now I'm applying um, uh, the white paint or the poster colors and um, uh, giving much uh, more uh, uh, standout white or uh, highlights, bouncing lights coming out of uh, of of the background, so there. Um, just to separate the much uh, the, the uh, part of the figure uh, for for every part of the body. Now I'm applying uh, the web. Uh, this is very rough, so I want I want to create the um, illusion of, of motion on on the web. So I have to make it really really rough that it flows in the air and and, and things like that. So now, to give it a shape, I, I thought of doing this spiral uh, texture, just like uh, Todd McFarlane did uh, with his uh, Spider-Man issues back then. So now I have to, of course, sign it using a uh, red crimson. So there, I, I, I guess this is much about it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and my narration, pardon my English, so... Um, I hope you liked it and um, I really like how the scanned image looks like after scanning it on the computer. So uh, thank you very much for watching and um, this is Edgar Tadeo and um, hope you come join me again uh, on the next uh, video. So you can check out my other channel um, here on YouTube. Uh, it's, it's on the link. Uh, you can subscribe if you want. Uh, thank you very much.